purchasing, mate. What's that? Sorry. They both fall in your era of purchasing. Yes, but um, no, I, I draw the line. I draw the line. Hey, yeah, just before you go on with figure news, just some other community news. Uh, big shout out to our community because every week our live viewership is going up and up and up and our downloads of the pod is going up and up and up. So shout out to everybody who is promoting us uh, to their friends and whoever else. The group is growing by the day. We didn't really mention this earlier and I'm just cutting right into the script here, James. But um, <laughs> no, no, just, I'm just watching, watching our viewership right now. It's going up and up and up and up and up and up. Uh, to, for the live viewers, and then there's also a number of people who are downloading the pod uh, each fortnight. So it's bloody good. We're pretty happy with that. Just a bit of yeah. pat, pat on the back, mate. Pat on the back for yourself, you know. Absolutely, uh, it's awesome. Thanks, guys. It's uh, it's humbling to know that uh, people are people are watching and listening. It's it's good fun. We enjoy it. Can I get back into the script, mate? Yeah, sure. sure. All right, cool. Uh, up next, we've got heels and faces. So. Being a prototype man myself, I love I love seeing this type of stuff. And he's this is a zombie sailor assembling the resin prototypes of one man gang, King Kong Bundy, uh, Matt Cardona, and Nick Gage. So Peter Poulos, now this only a customizer would would pick up on this. Have you noticed that King Kong King Kong Bundy and um, one man gang's body are the same? It's the same mm. uh, mold. There you go. Saving the money. Saving the money. Saving hey, the yeah, tools, question, as they say. Question for you, mate. We've ordered the Deno yep. Bravo. How yep. bitter will you be if we, our Deno Bravos get cancelled because they can't post them here? Because of COVID, you're saying? Well, at the moment, there's no post from the US. Well, listen, I've, I wanted to actually remind me. I wanted, I wanted to talk about that. So I ordered a couple of uh, big league pillows, and I'll share them in the in the group um during the week but basically it's i got them for my two boys they're pillows they're nba pillows with their names on them and i bought them i bought them in the states and i bought it uh i think i think i bought it on the 29th of september and they so arrived well after yesterday. the shipping block yep yep and they arrived yesterday and they used U, uh, united states postal service there you go ups so yeah, you literally arrived yesterday, so <clears throat> I don't know. And, and, but it's one of those things being pillows, you know, even if they got crushed, I didn't I didn't really care. And even if they got sent back, I didn't really care because they just sent them again, right? But yeah, if I'm ordering a prototype or a graded figure or a mint on card figure they want to keep mint, I, I'd still be a little bit hesitant. I don't know. So if I don't have anyone in the group or anyone's listening can let us know their experience. But that was my experience yesterday with a couple of pillows. Well, I'm going to steal a bit of my thunder for weekly pickups, but uh, our box, big box of legends, came in this week. So, oh, um, yeah. The we ordered, I think I ordered twelve legends figures from a contact of mine. I tell you what, if the people who got those legends aren't happy, then I'll be surprised because uh, the condition wasn't as perfect as I hoped. But they were told at the start that they were coming off the shelf from stores, but they got charged sixty dollars all in, and uh, if you do the math, when you're paying like thirty bucks a figure US, that's about forty Australian, and most of the shipping cost me fifteen or sixteen dollars Australian to post from me to them. So you're looking yeah. at about a four dollar cost to actually ship them down here. Um, okay. So I actually, well, I, I actually wore a lot of that cost because um, you're a good bloke, mate. Right? Well, I had to estimate, and then when I, I was thinking it would only cost me about eight bucks to ship a box in Australia, and they charged me wow. sixteen per box. Yeah. So, um, I think minimum you've got to say fifteen bucks minimum. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, we move on. So, Zombie Sailor looks really good. So I've done that, and here we go. This is what I love. I love about the, what I love about this community down under is the talent that comes out of this community. You know, I love to highlight the talent that we've got down here, Chris. LJM Custom Man, aka Zash Man. A world renowned, world recognized, and mu much loved uh, LJN customizer. He's just released series two of his uh, LJN custom uh, toy line. And this set includes Macho Man, uh, Hercules, and Bruiser Brody. And it looks like there's three different variants of the Macho and the Hercules. Bruiser Brody, I'm not 100% sure. So, Zash, if you're listening, let us know otherwise. But 
I can confirm that the Muncher Mans have sold out. Wow. And all that's remaining is Hercules and Bruiser Brody. Um, Do you know what I like about Zash is I'm in an LJN group called the Rubber Rumble. So if everyone wants to check that out, it's a good group, uh, USA group. Um, so they do some good stuff over there. He is so well regarded by the uh, external LJN community. And like people see the customs and they lose their minds. They're like, oh my God, yeah. I can't believe somebody made this. It's like the yeah. Gadol um, brothers, the Gadol brothers that make the uh, pillows, the um, yep. Tonka style, um, uh, what are they called? Buddies. Buddies. And yep. uh, people see their customs and like, how amazing that somebody's brain can produce the exact same level quality that the uh, manufacturers were making. Uh, probably better than the manufacturers are making yeah. 30 years ago. It just yeah. blows my mind. Yeah. Well, I can confirm that Zash has just uh, uh, let us know that Bruiser Brody is just one um, design. So the Hercules is there's a variant, much a man that was a variant because he's all sold out, and Bruiser Brody is just one. But did you see Did you see his Series 1 um, Jeff Jarrett with the actual man himself, Jeff Jarrett at a signing? So that was cool. Um, yeah, very cool. Very exciting. <laughs> Very, very exciting. Is it just me or uh, like Brutus Valentine, Zash, a few other people, they're getting their stuff out there because I've seen that, uh, and Grenville as well, the Has yeah. book and the yeah. um, Brutus's book, they're getting signed yeah. by uh, the stars. All the American um, shows seem to be back now. They're doing a lot more yeah. live shows, Yeah, uh, a lot more well, gonna, signing. I was going to bring that later in the show, but whilst, whilst we're talking about it now uh, and save time, so the the – Grenville is another member of our group, another another legend who created the Hasbook. If you haven't book, have you ever, if you haven't ordered the Hasbro Hasbook, sorry, and you're a Hasbro fan, don't waste any more time. Get out there, grab it. It's it's an amazing book. But lately, the superstars that have been uh, holding his book in a photo and signing it, I believe uh, the list that I've got here is Brutus, the Barber Beefcake. Yeah, great, great, um, great photo. Tugboat. Yeah, Rick and Scott one. Steiner, and Godfather, and I've also seen Hacksaw. Nice. So that's some that's some quality uh, uh, legends right, right there holding your holding your product. But back on the Zash Man. Yeah, right, you go with Zash Man, then I'll tell you something about Hacksaw. Back on back on the Zash Man. So he is collaborating with another customizing legend down under, Nick Johnson. We all know what what uh, quality work that that kid can create. They are both coming together and are creating Hulk Hogan, NJN, LJN Ultimates. 20 will be made with four different variants. So that'll be due in late November. Holy now, he has, me, he, he has showed me a couple of photos, so I won't share them now, but keep an eye out. I'm sure they'll start promoting them, but due late November, and that is four, sorry, 20 Ultimate uh, LJN Hulk Hogan's in four different uh, variants. So that's really, really, really exciting with Nick Johnson and Zash Man. Hey, Zash, I know you're watching or you were five minutes ago. Can I order one right now, mate? Put me down. I'll take one. Uh, just yeah. send me a message, tell me what the price is, and I'll shoot it over to you. I'm excited. Yeah. Chris has got to uh, get me a Christmas present, Zash, so make that too. i tell you what, Rob Care. I've already organized a Christmas present for you, mate. Uh, Rob Care, he'll uh, yeah. be all over a LJ and Custom Hogan. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's got a great uh, collection himself too, Rob. Mm. Uh, all right, on to Worldwide Toy Pickups. Again, being a pre-production man, that uh, Series 2 Green Tux, um, Hasbro prototype, hand-painted prototype, sold on the pre-production page for $6,250 USD. So amazing, that, amazing, amazing. Is that ungraded as well? Ungraded. So the, the, the picture that we're looking at now, that, that is what was on the on – the, um, on the page, and that's six thousand US. Six thousand two hundred fifty fifty US. Does that seem absurdly high for that figure? No, I reckon. And the, that's the second one in existence. So I know, I know another person that's got another million dollar man. But don't forget that the Bret Hart sold for eleven thousand five hundred US. So high. Thinking that's I might have gone market. early on the sale of my arcane. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe look to be fair, mate. I, I don't. I don't think. Actually, you know what? Akeem may have got around that because it's a series one. Who knows? 
I still got to, I still not, uh, hopefully, Adrian, if you're watching, hopefully you don't realize, I think he's already sold it anyway, but um, I did double my money on the purchase price. So. There you go. Boom, boom, boom. Hey, what's, uh, what does Matt Cardona say? It's, it's the toy business, not the toy friendship, something like that. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he says something like that anyway. It makes me laugh every time. Hey, um, big um, news. I've yeah. got big news to share is, yeah. uh, just going to read this out. I've put up the uh, image on the screen. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the next chapter, is scheduled to come out in 2023. And then there's a quote here. It's from Salini Door that says, I have loved that the franchise since I was a kid, he says, confessing that Raphael is his fave. I have bed sheets, lunchboxes, T-shirts and socks, but now I'm trying to recreate a unique interpretation that is not too distant from the original franchise that we are all know and familiar with and also make it fresh. And to make it new while not jettisoning what made Ninja Turtles so beloved. So um, pretty much in summary, they are bringing out a new animated Ninja Turtles movie based off the originals, uh, which I think everybody would be excited to see that in 2023. If you don't have kids right now, if you start having kids tonight... (laughs) You will, they'll just about be old enough. So when they come out, there's your homework, folks. If you're watching, there you go. go and have yourself a son so you can take him to Ninja Turtles and not be the only adult there. Yeah, yeah. Go upstairs now and get shagging. <laughs> no, kids. After the show, after the show. <laughs> after the show. After the show. Now, that's awesome. That's really, really exciting. I, my uh, my oldest son likes Ninja Turtles. He really does. And then I put it on YouTube for him um, every now and then. There's so many variants of the Ninja Turtles, and I just find it must be, you know, nothing beats the original. But yeah. then, you know, the way they look now, I just I think, oh, so I'm so glad that there's going to be based off the original um, concept. That's that's really exciting, especially for us yeah. old guys. You know, I've never uh, had this confirmed. I'm pretty sure I've mentioned it before We uh, on the pod or on something. No one has ever confirmed. So when I was a kid, I distinctly remember watching an animated Ninja Turtles movie. So it was like an hour, or hour and a half Ninja Turtle movie, which was told you the whole story of how the turtles became to exist. Yeah, you've mentioned this before. I don't, I don't recall this. But then when you look it up on YouTube, it's five separate episodes. And I wanted to know whether it was five episodes that got spliced into one sort of event or whether I've just lost my mind. You've either lost your mind or they might have... Do you remember watching on TV? I remember watching on TV. They might have just put the episodes together. Do do you remember I shared a few months back a cover that somebody had drawn of... Yeah, yeah. uh, So I reckon that video might have the movie (laughs) on it. So I'm going to... Now I've got to find a VHS somewhere that still connects to an old TV and I can figure it out for sure and I'll know for the truth. There you go. Put that, put that, uh, put that mystery to bed, <laughs> mate. Uh, nothing for community news from me. Anything from you? I'm oh, sorry, community events, I should say. Uh, well, we had the Nexus Toy Fair here on Saturday. Unfortunately, due to my commitments as a uh, now an under tens basketball coach, my six year old son has gone up to under tens, um, wow. which is crazy in itself. Um, they only lost by two points in their first game too. The nice. um, uh, I was stuck at basketball. I couldn't get to the toy fair. Uh, if anyone else went, let us know how it went. I don't think my mate Aaron Ferguson over here, I don't think he went either, which he's, we usually see each other there and make awkward small talk before we go and try and get to the figures first. Nice. Nice. All right. Well, that wraps up community new guys, news, guys. And let's hear a word from our major sponsor. The Wrestling with Figs podcast is proudly supported by Go Figure Collectibles. I can't believe this. Go Figure Collectibles have been established for over 20 years and have an extensive range of wrestling figures, DVDs, and merchandise. Go Figure Collectibles offers a huge variety of pop culture items such as Funko Pops, statues, TV, movie, and video game memorabilia, and so much more. The fact for you, mate. For all the Wrestling with Figs podcast listeners and Figs Down Under community members, use code FDU5 to save 5% off your next purchase store wide. You're going to be joking me! 5% yeah. 
Visit them online at gofigurecollectibles.com.au or if you're in the Melbourne area, go check out the store on 104 Bakers Road, Coburg, North Victoria and say good day to Jeff and the team. Goodbye, mates. Support local and support Go Figure Collectibles who continue to do great things for the collecting community down under. And go-